hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to design an online flight booking or reservation website so guys if you're new to my youtube channel please go ahead and then subscribe to my youtube channel like this video and share go ahead and do that now so guys here we have um the home page of this flight booking website which i hosted just to show you guys what we'll be achieving in this video and then here we have the home interface whereby we have air booking we have my trip we have check-in we have flight status and then we have from to trip depart return passenger and then we have round trip and then one way trip we have um offer deals just like a standard flight ticketing website your great destination and so on guys so here we have about available flights so i'm just going to go ahead and click on about and then under about we have um details like this and so on guys and then here we have available flights so here a few available flights and then here it says no results to be found so no available flight has been created yet and then here we have track airline so i'm just going to go ahead and then track an airline with this booking code and then click on check now so guys i'm going to scroll down it says hello we are validating your booking details and then boom we have this and then these are my booking details and then we have a button called pay now guys so here we have the contact and then we have the usd and so on very very cool airline booking or reservation website so here we have feedbacks we have search we have currency here we have currency and then we have the register and the sign in so i'm just going to click on the register so here we have a very very cool registration interface and then we also have the sign in whereby customers can sign in or decide to register after making a booking so let's go ahead and then see how the admin interface looks like i'm just going to remove this and use the keyword admin and hit enter so um i'm logged into the admin already i'll just go ahead and then log out of the admin so this is the admin interface i'll go ahead and then put in my username and then put in my password and go ahead and then hit login so i'm currently in the admin dashboard whereby we have home or we have booked flights so under home we have a very simple admin dashboard whereby we have total users we have 10 total flights we have five total airlines we have 10 airports we have 22 so these are what has been created by the admin so here we have booked flights whereby we can see all booked flights so basically we have few booked flights here and um i think we just have 10 flights which has been booked and that was where we have the ability to be able to track a flight and then here we have all flights whereby you can view all flights so these are all flights and then the cool feature here is that you can add a new flight so all you need to do is to select an airline and then put in plane number departure location and then put in arrival location departure dates and time the arrival date and time seats and then price and then go ahead and then hit on save so this automatically creates a new flight so next we have manage airports so as an admin you have the ability to manage airports so these are available airports created by the admin we have los angeles dubai and so on an admin can decide to edit an airport and then add more features and also an admin can decide to come here and then create a new airport so i can just decide to put in anything here and then put in a location and then click on save so this automatically is add a new airport so here we have add airlines so on this interface you can add a new airline so here we have some images pictures of some airlines and so on and then we can decide to edit an airline and so on guys so when i click on the philippine we have it here and then i can decide to change the image which is display and then go ahead and then save this automatically updates the previous airline details and then i can decide to create a new airline if i want to so the next we have here is message passenger so um assuming you have an information 
you want to pass to a passenger all you need to do is to just head up to manage passenger message passenger and then put in the passenger email address put in subject of the message and then put in the body of the message and then go ahead and then send now so here are the total number of um registered user on this platform so we have um this email address with name and so on guys so here we have the logout we have manage users whereby you can manage all customers user i'll just go ahead and then click on action and click on edit so this brings us to an interface whereby we can manage users so let me just pick a non-admin and click on edit so i can decide to change whatever details i want to change for this user and then i can also change the user type to either a staff or an admin and so on so guys so this admin dashboard um gives you the ability to uh, make changes to your website so guys this is basically how the admin features work and the features are uh, it allows you to view all booked flights allows you to see all flights allows you to manage airports allows you to add airlines allow you to message passengers we have the logout we have the manage users and then we have the site settings so guys this is basically how the admin features looks like other features can be added based on demand so guys let's go ahead and then see how we can design an online booking or reservation for flights just like what we've just seen because i know the question is you've been showing us um samples how do i design an online flight reservation ticket like this i'll be leaving a stone on turn i'm going to be showing you guys step-by-step -step guide on how to design a flight ticket website so first of all you must have a domain and, and hosting a domain is basically the url which is used to visit your site just like what we have here this is our url so you need to get a domain and the next thing you need and hosting and hosting allows you to put your files on it so and hosting allows you to upload your files on a live server that is putting your files online guys so i'm just going to go ahead and then log in to my hosting so basically i'm just going to go to hosting and then hit enter so i'm going to click on login and then go ahead and then log in to my hosting account so basically hosting uses on hpanel but if you're using a normal hosting you can still follow through what i'm doing so the first thing i'm going to do here is to go ahead and then create a subdomain so to be able to create a subdomain i'm just going to so i'm just going to go back to home and then i'm going to scroll down and then i'm going to select the domain i want to use and then come over to domains and then click on subdomain so i'm just going to give my subdomain a name fly dot my domain name dot com i'm just going to click on custom folder for this domain and i'm going to name the custom folder for this domain as fly so if you're using a c panel and not an h panel all you need to do is to go to the search bar on your c panel and then type domain and then you're going to see where you can create a subdomain just like what i'm doing so it's basically simple i'm just going to click on create and then automatically it's going to create a subdomain for me guys so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and then click on dashboard and then go ahead and then click on file manager so i'm just going to wait while my file manager gets loaded so here i'm going to click on public underscore html and then we have our subdomain here which is fly so all i need to do is to go ahead and then open this and then click on upload so guys here i'm going to upload the scripts for the flight reservation on the website so all i need to do is to click on file if you're using a c panel all you need to do is to search for file manager on your search bar and then go ahead and then upload your file on your subdomain because basically when you are using a c panel when you type your file manager you will definitely see where you can um, upload your scripts you see and upload on the top of your nav bar you are going to see a lot of nav for bar there but if you're using an ostiga just follow through what i'm doing so i'm going to click on file and then go ahead and then upload the scripts used in the projects
so great guys i have the scripts uploaded successfully guys so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and then extract the scripts i'm going to right click and then click on extract and then go ahead and then put in a folder i'm going to extract it to if you're using a c panel whenever you extract automatically it extracts your file but this is an h panel i really don't see difference between a c panel and h panel it's just that um the positions of things are different so i'm just going to click on extract and it's going to extract it so guys i'm going to go ahead and open this folder and then here we have our database which shows that we need to create our database for our air reservation website so i'm just going to come back to my hitch panel and then scroll down and then come to database guys and another database i'm going to click on management if you're using a cpanel, all you need to do is to click on my SQL database wizard on your search. And then it's going to bring out where you're going to create your database. So I'm just going to come over here and then name my database fly. And then also name my username for my database fly. And then come over here and then generate a password. And then go ahead and then click on create guys. So this automatically creates my database for my project. So database has successfully been created. All I need to do is to go ahead and then come back to my file manager and then come to this new job flight2.sql and then go ahead and then download this guys because this is what I'm going to be uploading in my database guys. The next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and then open this folder and then select all. I'm just going to click on Control A to select all and then move the whole of this file to my main folder which is fly so i'm going to click on move and all files will be moved to this folder guys great guys so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and then connect my database guys so i'm just going to locate config.php guys guys to be able to link my database i'm going to come over to admin and then i'm going to locate db underscore connect.php i'm going to click on edit so here we have our database file all i need to do is to just head up to this point and then copy my database and then paste it gradually guys i'm just going to come over here and then paste this and then also copy it, this fly i don't need to copy it i can easily remember so guys if you know you're enjoying this video please do make sure you smash the subscribe button like 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 this video and share so that other people can benefit from this video guys i'm just going to copy and then come over here and then paste and then also come over here and then paste come over here also and then paste so right now i'm going to go ahead and then copy my database password which is this go ahead and then control c and then come here and then paste here guys and then i also come here and then paste my database password guys so even if you're using a C panel, you can still follow through what I'm doing. It's the same thing, nothing different, guys. I'm going to go ahead and then click on save. So guys, I've successfully been able to connect my database to my project, guys. So guys, the next thing I want to do is to check your PHP configuration. All you need to do is to come back to your control panel or your hitch panel and then come over here and then type PHP config, guys. So here we have PHP configuration. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and then it says my PHP config is in 8.1. So advisably, your PHP configuration should be 8.1 for this project to work effectively. So guys, since we are done with that, if you're using a cPanel, just go ahead and then type multi-php and then it's going to bring out where you're going to change your PHP version. So guys having understand this the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and then visit our website so i'll just come over here and then go ahead and then put in our website url fly dots and then i'm going to put in my domain name and then i'm going to hit enter guys so guys having reloaded our website we have this guys so the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and then upload our database guys so guys the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and then upload our database i'm just going to come over to my database i'll come to php my admin and then this is the database which i just created i'm going to click on enter php my admin guys and then i'm going to go ahead and then upload the database which we recently just downloaded so that our website can work 
So here's the database which we've created. I'm going to click on Import and then go ahead and then click on Choose File. So I'm going to go to Download and then this is the database, guys. So we have the database imported already. I'm going to go ahead and then click on Import to successfully import this database. And in no seconds, we have our database imported successfully. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and then visit my website, which is fly dot my domain name dot com guys we have our website loaded successfully guys our website loaded successfully without stress guys so basically for instance you want to make changes like you want to change the logo used on this website so you can just come over to your file manager and then locate your index.php and then i'm going to right click and click on edit so on our index.php we have this directory for our logo and then so we have assets dash index slash img slash logo slash logo dot png first of all i'm just going to make slight changes to something i'm just going to go ahead and then remove this covid 19 update which is here on our website i don't need this just going to go ahead and then remove this and then click on save guys and then let me go ahead and then refresh my website and then i have that removed on my website so the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and then change this logo i'm going to locate this folder in my file manager so here we have the folder asset slash index and then we have img we have logo and then we have logo.png i'm going to go ahead and then delete this and then go ahead and then upload a new logo guys i'm going to click on upload and then click on file to upload a new logo so guys i've successfully been able to upload a new logo all i need to do is to right click and then give it the same name which is logo.png i'm just going to remove this and then click on rename so that it can tally with the name of the file i'm just going to go ahead and then refresh my flight booking website and then click on ctrl h and then click on clear browsing data and then click on clear data for the last hour and then go ahead and then refresh my website guys so this should change the logo so guys i'm just going to wait so we have our logo changed guys to a different logo guys so this is basically how you can change the logo of your website this is how to design an online flight booking reservation website just like what we have shown in the previous section if you know you enjoyed this video guys please so guys this is basically how to design an airline flight reservation booking website guys so simple and easy guys this is basically how to design an airline flight booking website so guys the next thing we're going to do is to go ahead and then see what our admin details so we have our database here which we imported and then under users we should have our admin details so under users so it says i should log in i'm just going to go ahead and then log into my account so guys i'm trying to re-log into my account and then right now i'm logged into my account so i'm just going to click on the users table and then here we have a database name which is administrator and the username admin and then password admin so these are basically the details you are going to be using to log into your admin with the url slash admin guys so just come here and then come over here and then use slash admin and then this brings you to your admin dashboard whereby you're going to put in your admin details and then head up to log in guys so guys there's no doubt that i left no stone unturned i showed you guys how to design a flight booking or reservation website so guys to get the scripts used in this video check the description of this video you'll find a contact you can reach out to you also find a whatsapp link you can chat with go ahead and then Use this medium and request for the scripts. Our customer support will reach out to you on the next step to take. If you know you enjoyed this video, guys, please make sure you smash the subscribe button, like this video, and share so that other people can benefit from an interesting video like this. See you guys in my next video. Bye for now.